Hey, welcome back, guys. This is Video Goat here with another video. We'll talk about what's in the title. But as always, let me get through my comic picks. So, the first one we got right now is I've been trying to pick it up and find it picked up at a, a Dimension Comic. Shout out to Nico Shelf. He's my friend that works there. I was able to pick this up. It's a Tekken issue 3. It's continue the story as they continue to fight. As a boot that is about, if I'm saying right, as a Batsu. I can use that story as a growing. Definitely pick up for your Tekken plan. I didn't really too fancy, but it's cool. Okay, these are quick picks. Um, second one, which I finally found it at the same store, the, the major comic shop, and you go with stuff again. Uh, couldn't find it at other comic book stores, had to find it there. And it is uh, Rocco's Modern Life. It's kind of just like, you know, what happens after <laughs> after the series ends. It's not we're going to comic shop no more. And, uh, you know, it's kind of has some jabs of like today's society and stuff, but it's definitely very funny. Cool to check out. Definitely has the Rocco Modern Life. Anyway. Even though it's, a Nick, it's still on a Nickelodeon, and Rock always has adult humor, it definitely seems like a dope uh, comic. Even though it's, it's, like it's supposed to be for kids in the kids section, and it advertises kid comics. Uh, I've only read the first issue, we're going to read the second issue. Then we got. Um, this is again a really rare out find at Dimension Comics. Again, that's Dimension Comics during Seabrook, Texas. Uh, Shadow Nico, and then is a uh, doll face. Uh, Tales of a Ball Jointed Witch Hunter. It's like a spin off of a, a zombie tramp. Zombie tramp. In the first issue, she was the one to hunt zombie tramp, you know, by Medenzo Sententio. I'm, I'm sorry if I'm messing up your name. I follow him on Instagram, he's a good artist. But every night, kind of like a supernatural spin. And this is a spin off. It yeah, has my beloved zombie tramp. Was a, Definitely check out the doll face for right here. The sexiness, you know, it is there is new stuff and it. it's very adult, but it's also supernatural, scary, and some action scenes. <laughs> Definitely check out Best FPT. And finally, we got a manga picks, and I got this uh, Amazon uh, Amazon for like very cheap, one ninety nine. Use it's like a good library copy, old library copy, but it is a lot of pieces. Of, yes, just focus on back. Rexo Saga Volume Eighteen. As you can see, it's extra thick and unusual. I look forward to reading it. Just got it in the middle of the day. See what it has to offer. But that is my comics manga picks for this week. I uh, keep trying to produce them. Have some opportunities brewing up. I'm trying to do. I might make a video about that. I also posted more. This was our podcast. And I was talking about what's in the the title. So I did see Frank Panfer. Not too much to say about it. Uh, I did like it. It was enjoyable. I'm good. It wasn't the best Marvel movie. I do as always, you know, have a, a soft spot for uh, for, the, for the first X Men movie. That's probably, in my in my opinion, like that's always be the greatest superhero movie ever made. Uh, but definitely cool. You can tell definitely Marvel tries to do themes. Like Doctor Strange was like, oh, as much as like me a visual. Uh, Guardians was a uh, how much like me space. Alan Cap the war movies, and this is kind of like Winter Winter Shutter where to take on uh, take on society. But definitely was enjoyable. I'm not a big Michael B. Jordan fan. Uh, I know, you know, he did take some inspiration from Vegeta, he says. And, like, being a talk to me, I should be like, oh, um, but I'm still not a big Michael B. Jordan fan. I don't think he's the best actor. Obviously, you could see it in Black Panther. Uh, he just has the physique. And, uh, like, a real th that was a real thing in the comics where uh, he throws off Black Panther off the cliff. That happens. Kimonga did that. And I was like, it's kind of his big thing. So, that was probably the best quote I said, but... I was, I was just okay it was good um you know so yeah this one to get out there uh four minute mark my review of my picks so you guys take care the one the piece if you go sign it off